welcome to our lesson on working with text in presentations. We're going to look at a presentation that could potentially be used during a cooking class. The nice thing about this is that you could email your presentation to the participants so that they know exactly what's coming their way. Let's have a look at the presentation. All right, so the presentation consists of four slides and they're going to be making lovely green tea ice cream. Let's firstly look at the difference between moving and copying text. So we're going to go to our third slide and we're going to move the heading from slide two to slide one. You'll see that a little border appears around the title at the top of your screen. This is because all text is placed in placeholders in PowerPoint presentations. So you can either select the text individually or I usually just select the placeholder. I'm now going to move this. So to move it, I'm going to cut. So you can right click and select cut. You'll see that it disappears off your screen. And then I'm going to move it and paste it onto the second slide. So when you move something, you basically only have one copy of it. You're taking it from one place to the other. When you copy information, you're going to end up with duplicate copies of the same text. Let's have a look at how to do that. We're now going to take this heading that we just moved, and this time we're going to right click, and we're going to select copy. It shouldn't disappear from your screen now. And let's paste it back to page or slide three. And let's also paste it on slide four. Right click and select paste. The next thing we're going to look at is how to find and replace text in your slideshow. Let's go to our slideshow. And let's have a look at some of the wording. On the third slide, they talk about add the green tea and stir the combination. So a combination really isn't a good word. Perhaps a better word would be mixture, as this is a cooking class. So I'm going to use my find and replace function to replace the word combination with the word mixture. So to do this, I'm going to select my home tab. And then on the right hand side, I'm going to select replace. All right. So I want to find the word combination and then I want to replace it with the word mixture. I'm going to replace all the occurrences of this word in my document. So there were two replacements made. Select OK. And then you can close your dialog box. All right, so I hope you can see what a powerful tool the find and replace option is. Uh, if you had a document with 60 slides on, it wouldn't be a big issue if you had to go and change the word combination to mixture, even if you had to do it a hundred times, because you would be able to do it in a matter of a few clicks. In Open Office, let's quickly just go to the Open Office presentation. If you wanted to use the Find and Replace, you would find that on the Edit menu, and there's your Find and Replace option. Okay, it works exactly the same way. You would type in what you're looking for and what to replace it with. And this concludes our lesson on how to work with text in presentations.